Admas 2009, paper 2, question 12. To calculate Spearman's rank, I need to rank the scores. As long as I'm consistent, I can either go highest to lowest or lowest to highest. And I'm going to go lowest to highest. So 5, I'm going to give it a rank of 1. I then have 8, rank 2. 9, 10, 11, 12, no 13s. I have two 14s, so they're going to take the place of 7 and 8. So I'm going to give them both 7 and a half. And then 9 and 10. Putting this with the second line of information. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7 is also 70. So I'm going to make those 6.5. So that's 6, 7. 8, 9, 10. Now I need to work out the differences. Differences are going to end up squared, so I don't have to worry about signs. So I have 9, 6 and a half, 3 and a half, 7, 6, 4, 0 0.5, 0, 1.5 and 6. So if I now go through and square D, I have 81. 2.25, 12 12.25, 49, 36, 16, 0 0.25, 0, 2.25 and 36. Remember the formula for Spearman's ranks in the formula booklet? And Spearman's rank R equals 1 minus 6 sum of d squared upon n upon n squared minus 1. So that's 1 minus 6 times 279 all over 10 times 99, which is negative 38 over 55, negative 0 0.691. This value of Spearman's rank tells us we have a negative correlation. Then asked to find the means. Well the mean time is 11.7 and the mean mark is 61.6. Line of best fit we need to mark on the mean value so we have 11.7 which will be here, and um, we have 61.6, which will be here, so we should have an X around here. Whenever we're drawing a line of best fit and we've worked out the means, then the line of best fit must go through the means. So try and get as many points as possible on the line and equal numbers above and below. And I do not have a ruler tool on this whiteboard. Um, it's important in your exam that you use a ruler. To work out the equation, I'm going to use the mark scheme diagram. Point across to here. So I've gone from 6 to 18, I've got 12. And I've gone down from 82 to 40. So I have gone down 42 which means that the gradient is minus 42 over 12, which is minus 3.5. Now, depending on your line of best fit, you're going to get a different answer at this stage. It's just important to use or show you're working out. I'm going to use the gradient and the point that I know definitely it goes through, which is the mean of the x is the mean of the y's. And I'm going to use that y minus y1 equals m upon x minus x1. There are other ways to calculate the equation and you'll see one in the mark scheme. So that gives me plus 40.95. All I need to do now is bring over the 61.6 and add it and that gives me 100 to 0.55 
the game we're all going to get slightly different answers here.